Uh, Arthur Smith, the one show Wordsmith, has already looked at words with strange origins. That wasn't enough for our Arthur. For the new year, he's moving on to entire languages, kicking off with Esperanto. <laughs> Imagine a world where you could travel anywhere and talk to anyone. One universal second language for all. This was the dream of Dr. Ludovic Zamenhof, who invented Esperanto as one step towards creating world harmony. Sadly, we're still waiting on Dr. Zamenhof's aspirations for world peace, but millions of people do speak Esperanto. One of them is Tim Morley, who teaches it. Well, it came from Poland originally. Dr. Zamenhof lived in a town where um, there was a Jewish community, but also a Russian community and a German community. And there was a lot of fighting between the different groups. The way Zamenhof saw it, part of the problem was that um, they couldn't talk to each other. If we all had a second language, then we would at least have a chance to sit down and talk about things and hopefully be nice to each other. But how universal is Esperanto? Will native French, German and Spanish speakers be able to understand some choice phrases? Let's find out. Mi asilo havas hamstron. La hamstro no mi just Fred. Your son has a hamster? Yes. And its name is Fred. What did you pick out there? It looks like French and English combined. Spanish. And Spanish also, <laughs> yeah. Mi apatro havas hundon. La hundo no mi just Roxy. He's got a dog. He has, okay. How do you know that? <laughs> I don't know. It just sounds like a lot of words you have in European languages. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's yeah. kind of the point, right? <laughs> I know it's from German because I'm a, sp a German speaker and in German it's Hund. Hund, okay, right. So, the theory works surprisingly well. But practically, what use is Esperanto? Some primary schools teach the language as part of a pilot project. The belief is that a grounding in Esperanto makes other languages easier to learn. Hey saluto, hey saluto, chi è vi, chi è vi, non mi devas iri, non mi devas iri, ci srevi, ci srevi. Parents were sceptical. But after a term's teaching, they're impressed. I did question when I first found that the children were going to be learning Esperanto. I came in to observe the lessons. The children were so far advanced that they were able to use the right grammar for colours and different numbers of objects that they were describing in the class. I'm rather impressed by this Esperanto. Others have been impassioned. Take me to Milton Keynes, driver. Terry and Anissa met in the Netherlands in 1964 at an Esperanto Congress. Anissa, who's Slovenian, couldn't speak a word of English and Terry couldn't speak a word of Slovenian. Esperanto was at first a common bond, then it became the language of love. Ah, we can't can ask Lind, he went to Knabot here. Yes. He's the only father. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yes. mannequin piece on him. <laughs> he came to me and asked if he could carry my case. I said, yes. Do, please. <laughs> in Esperanto. In Esperanto, yes. And clearly, uh, he, he's been carrying your case ever since. Ever since. <laughs> <laughs> and your children, uh, they speak uh, Esperanto as well? It was the first language they heard. They spoke Esperanto before they spoke English. What was one of the good things about Esperanto then, Terry? Being able to be with a lot of people from a lot of countries and being able to talk to them on equal terms. So that, in fact, one is often unaware of where they come from until you ask. Des plibone. Even better, me consentas. I agree. Well, I've been doing this for about half an hour. I'd say I'm more or less fluent. Well, I can say anyway. Adrian, me no povas vivi sen vi. Adrian, I can't live without you. I've heard that now in literally one language only, and that's uh, es <laughs> Esperanto. <laughs> Comenza la tona exonas, la tuta rochestro e glutas capable. Si ricarda sentenza sta banda in meso, la visa gianda di chi usida scetable. Linne plu e tenas devastari chi laucula e da zio vinin all in mocas. 
Li venas per paŝoj tre mannaj de vi kaj La rigardo de la belolino lin boka Nu venu kaj dancu 